Good morning and welcome to the Morning Focus. It's wonderful to have you here with me again. And today I want to talk about the garden of your life. And I want us to focus on that because if you are an avid gardener, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're a novice, you're probably learning this. And if you don't have a garden, then I'm sure you will be able to relate to it in one way or another. So the garden of your life is something that I've termed in terms of two things. One is the landscape at which we look outward at. So that's the external manifestation of what we see in our lives. And the other is the internal garden which is really primarily where your thoughts reside, where your thoughts reside. And this has got a lot to do with just not paying close attention to your thinking. And by doing that, weeds just sprout up everywhere. And before you know it, your garden is looking like a trash can. Debris comes in, weeds grow, uninvited guests come in, snakes that slither here and there, snails that come in. So in this morning focus, I want you to think of the most beautiful garden that you could ever imagine, the most beautiful garden. And then I want you to ask yourself this. Did this garden just arrive like that without any care or attention? And I'm not talking about a forest that just does its own thing. I'm talking about a man-made garden. Does that beautiful garden just happen to be that way? Or does it take care and attention? So if you have rose bushes, you will know that there are certain areas in your garden that you cannot plant rose bushes. They will get destroyed by the wind and too much sun. And so you have to be very, very particular about the things you allow your mind to occupy yourself with. Not only must you be aware of your thoughts, but you must water your plants. You must take care of them. You must nurture them. But the one thing I love the most is when you want something to happen in your life, you don't go out into the garden and you say, grow plant, grow, grow tree, grow. And you start tugging at the, the plant before you know it, you're going to have pulled that whole plant out and it's not going to take root and it's not going to grow. You care for it, you water it, and you trust that nature will have its way and it will grow. And so, so many times we plant seeds and we do the right thing. We plant the seeds at the right depth. We give it water. Sometimes we overwater things and kill them. Sometimes we don't water them and kill them. It's finding that fine balance between moderation, between trusting that nature knows how to care for its own. And in the same way, your thoughts know how to go with the flow of life. And so I have learned something really, really powerful, and it's this. No matter what you believe, you are going to manifest that belief in your life. Why? Because you are so dogmatically in tune and aligned with that concept, thought, belief system. That there is no other way, and that's all there is. And you will manifest 
you will manifest those things in your life. But it doesn't mean that those things are good for you. So looking at this and having a very broad spectrum of research into the linking between religion and spirituality through Greg Braden and all his work for the last couple of decades, and looking at A Course in Miracles and looking at other dogma, other religious paths, other spiritual paths, looking at all of it, you need to find one that you resonate with, that sits with you, and that speaks truth to your heart. Now, the one that gives me the most peace, the one that gives me the most peace that I water in the garden of my life, and I will continue to do so throughout 2023, I will continue to pull out the weeds, I will continue to nurture water and give nutrients to the soil where it's needed, is the non-dual approach to A Course in Miracles. While others are great scholars and can tell you how many times a certain word appears in A Course in Miracles and they can link things up and they can recite it at the drop of a hat. Others I call dabblers. And then there are those that look at it and immerse it and absorb it in the garden of their life as a part of the totality of who they are and what they know themselves to be. And I encourage you, I encourage you to sit with yourself and ask yourself, what do I believe? And please, if you get stuck with this and you want to reach out to me, by all means, just drop a comment below. You know, we can always have a Zoom chat. We can have a group chat, a group call. But I want you to find something that sits well with you. So I'm just sending you so much love for today. Have an awesome day as you prep for the weekend. Have an awesome day. And I will see you tomorrow where we will continue discussing things of great importance. I bless you. See you soon.